Now in this lesson we're looking at what's known as binomial expansions. Let's look at some examples. We're asked to expand and simplify. The first one, x plus 3 multiplied by x plus 4. Now what we do with these questions here, we'll start off with the first term in the first bracket and we're going to multiply by each term in the other bracket. All right, and drawing those loops in will remind us to multiply by each of those terms. So that'll take care of the x. Then we move to the next term in the first bracket, the, the positive 3, and we're going to multiply by each term in the other bracket as well. So let's see how we're going. Starting off with that x, we're going to multiply with the x there, gives us x squared. Then the x gets multiplied with the positive 4, giving us plus 4x. So that's taken care of that x. So we move on now to the positive 3. It gets multiplied by the x to give us plus 3x. And then the positive 3 gets multiplied by the last term there, plus 4. 3 times 4 is 12, so we get plus 12. So that's the expansion done. Now we need to simplify x squared there. Are there any other x squareds? No, there's not. So let's write that down. Then we have 4x plus 3x, which is plus 7x. And finally, we have plus 12 on the end. So our answer there is x squared plus 7x plus 12. Terrific. Our second example, x minus 3 multiplied by x plus 5. So again, we start off with the first term in the first bracket and draw a loop to the, each of the terms in the other bracket. Then moving on to the next term, the negative 3, we draw a loop with each of the terms in the next bracket also. So let's go back to that x to start with. x is firstly multiplying by that x in the second bracket, so it gives us x squared. Then the x is multiplied by the next one, the plus 5. 5 times x will give us plus 5x. So that first term in the first bracket's done, so we move on to the next one, negative 3. Negative 3 times x is minus 3x. And then negative 3 times the positive 5, well that's a mixed, so we'll get a minus answer. 3 fives are 15, so we're going to get minus 15. So we've done the expansion, let's simplify now. x squared, there's no other x squared term, so we just write that down. We can simplify that. We have plus 5x minus 3x, which will be plus 2x. And on the end there, minus 15. So our answer there is x squared plus 2x minus 15. Fantastic. Our third and final example here. x minus y multiplied by x minus 3y. So we start with that first term and loop up with the two terms in the other bracket. Then moving on to the minus y, draw our little loops. So here we go, x times the x equals x squared. Then we have x times the minus 3y, which will give us minus 3xy. The x now is done, so we move on to the minus y. Minus y times x, minus xy. And finally, minus y times minus 3y. Well, two minuses will make a plus. We will get plus 3y squared. Terrific. Now let's have a look, collecting like terms. We have x squared there. There are no other x squareds. So let's write that down then. We have minus 3xy minus another xy. All right, that xy, if you like, has a little 1 in front. So minus 3xy minus 1xy would be minus 4xy. And then we have a plus 3y squared on the end. So final answer there, x squared minus 4xy plus 3y squared. Fantastic. Well, that concludes our lesson. Good luck with your questions.